Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, square fully confined uh, in a blue rectangle, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, horizontal segment uh, length is 23 units, whereas uh, this uh, horizontal length is uh, 32 units. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue rectangle has been given to us as 600 square units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with this uh, green shaded uh, square. And we know all its side lengths are equal. Let me label this side length as a lowercase a lowercase a lowercase a and lowercase a across the board and now let's make an observation we know that uh, this uh, vertical length is same as uh, this vertical length if this is a lowercase a then this uh, side length is going to be lowercase a as well and likewise this is going to be lowercase a as well and since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this uh, square is lowercase a. So therefore, the area of this uh, green square is going to be a square. So therefore, now our task is to find the value of uh, a square. And here's our next step. We are going to label this left hand side uh, segment length uh, as uh, lowercase x then this segment length is going to be lowercase x as well. And likewise, I'm going to label this uh, segment length uh, as y. Then this segment length uh, is going to be y as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, segment, uh, which is uh, 23 units, uh, is equal to this segment uh, a plus uh, x. So therefore, I can write uh, a plus x uh, equals to 23 and likewise uh, this uh, horizontal length uh, which is uh, a plus y is uh, equal to 32 so therefore i can write uh, a plus y equals to 32 and now we are going to add these two equations if we add them we're going to get uh, 2 times uh, a plus uh, x uh, plus y is going to be equal to if we add the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 55 and now i'm going to move this uh, to a on the other side so therefore uh, our x plus y value is going to be equal to 55 minus uh, 2 times uh, a i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now let's uh, focus on this uh, blue rectangle. It's uh, this uh, vertical uh, side length is a lowercase a, whereas uh, its uh, horizontal dimension is uh, a plus x uh, plus y. So therefore I can write that one as uh, a plus x uh, plus uh, y. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times the width. In our case, uh, the length of this blue rectangle is uh, a plus x plus y whereas the width of this uh, rectangle is uh, lowercase a and furthermore uh, the blue rectangle area has been given to us as uh, 600 square units so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 600 equals to our length and width i'm going to multiply them out a times uh, a plus uh, x uh, plus y and now let's focus on this part uh, x plus y and let's focus on equation one we know our x plus y value equals to 55 minus uh, 2 times a so therefore i am going to substitute this uh, x plus y value as 55 uh, minus uh, 2 times a over here and now let's combine the like terms over here a minus 2a is going to give us uh, negative a so therefore i can write down 600 equals to a times 55 minus a and now we are going to distribute so therefore we can write 600 
equal to 55 times a minus a square and now we are going to move all these terms on the other side so therefore we can write a square minus 55 times a plus 600 equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation a square minus 55a plus 600 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring and you may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this given quadratic equation and now let's focus on this uh, constant uh, 600 let me write it down over here and I'm going to break that one down uh, into 15 uh, times uh, 40 and if we multiply 15 times 40 is going to give us uh, indeed uh, 600 and if we add these two numbers 15 plus 40 is going to give us indeed uh, 55 so therefore we are going to tweak this uh, middle terms uh, negative 55a could be written as uh, negative uh, 15 times uh, a minus uh, 40 times uh, a as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see between first two terms uh, a is in common and between uh, these last two terms we got uh, negative 40 common so therefore we can write uh, a times uh, a minus uh, 15 and here minus uh, 40 times uh, a minus 15 as well equal to 0 and now we can see a minus 15 and a minus 15 they are in common so therefore I can write uh, a minus 15 times uh, a minus 40 equal to 0 and since we got these two factors uh, equal to 0 we can uh, split them I can write down a minus 15 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be a minus 40 equal to 0 so therefore first equation a is going to be equal to positive 15 and for the second equation a is going to be equal to positive 40 and now we can see a equals to 40 value is not feasible since we know this whole length uh, is uh, 23 so therefore a value is going to be less than uh, 23 so therefore we are going to reject this uh, a equals to 40 value and we are going to accept a equals to positive 15 value so thus our a value turns out to be 15 units and here's our final step we know that our green uh, square area is uh, a square so therefore uh, this uh, green square area is going to be 15 uh, whole uh, square and that is going to be equal to 225 square units so thus the green square area turns out to be a 225 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye